Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of rounding decimals. This is standard 5.2c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 19 which is a new item type called Equation Editor of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so this is just the equation editor. We need to just type in our answer here. And whatever that happens to be, right, you just need to make sure it is clear. I don't think we're going to need the fraction down at the bottom right, but we are just going to need our decimals here. So let's take a look at it. We are going to be looking at a number is rounded to the nearest hundredth is, look at that right there, 384.93. The original number is greater than 384.93. What could be the number? There is more than one possible answer. Well, all right, this is a difficult problem. So they're not asking us to just round a number. They're asking us to guess a number that could work. And there are more than one answers. I will actually list all the possible answers here, uh, as long as we're going to the thousandth place, right? So let's go. Let's look at our place value here. So here's the first thing we're going to need to do, right? 384.93. So a number rounds to that number. Yet it's greater than that? It's greater than, than 384.93? How can a number that's greater than that ran, round back down to that? Well, the key with rounding is how many place values does it go to? We are going to need to add a sixth place value. We're going to have to add that thousandth place. Now, we've got a blank there. So what we can always do is put that right there. We can always put a zero there. So... Let's look at it in a number line. That might help us here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put like, you know, 384.93. And then I'll put 384.94. I'm just going to count by hundredths. Well, obviously, you know, 384.94 is not going to round down. So what's that midpoint? Well, that becomes helpful if we add a zero. You can always add zeros. Well, 930, 940. So this is going to be 384.935. Right, that's our midpoint. Anything that we know that is at the midpoint or greater rounds up. So I don't want this. I want the numbers to the thousandths place that are between these two. Well, there's going to be four possible answers, right? 384.931. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to keep all my digits the same. I'm going to increase my thousandths place, right? So now I'm going to do 384.932. Nine, three, two. And then we see the pattern here, hopefully. 384.933. So take a look at these possible answers in blue. 933. Three. And then my last one, I'm kind of running out of room, so I'll just write it right there. 384 and 934 thousandths. Point nine, three, four. All right, let's make sure we get the correct number right there, 384.934. Now I have to stop there, because if I go up to 935, I'm rounding up to 384.94 hundredths, not what I want. So let's pick any of them. Any of these four answers are going to work, so I'll do 384.934. So let's do that, 384.934. Point nine three four, and that is one answer.